Increasingly, we are buying our content directly from publishers. Our academic library, like uh, many others, is now reliant on content from Taylor and Francis and um, budgets permitting, we will continue to renew and purchase. We've been running quite a lot of DDAs on aggregated platforms. We've invested quite a lot of money into those and when we did the analysis, one of the things we noticed was that the top publisher on nearly every one we ran was Taylor and Francis. Because our tools are becoming more advanced in terms of our discovery layers, we know the impact that those are having, we know our end users like DRM free content which we're able to buy directly with yourselves, so it's the perfect opportunity to build those relationships. It's also helpful having the Taylor & Francis discount for APCs um, with uh, journals as well and that's something that we make sure our researchers are aware of. I've had interactions with various members of staff in Taylor & Francis over the last couple of years and it's always been very positive and we've been able to engage not only just with the sales and sort of after sales stuff but also we've been very positive with the engagement about the developments that you have. We're all here for the same objective, which is to get the best content we can to the end user in the best and most timely method we can do it. So the conversation that we have with yourselves is fantastic because it gives us an opportunity to put our opinions across about what we think the best models are from our perspective and how we might be able to develop that for the future. That relationship between publishers and libraries are really, is really important to make sure that the information that is provided is what's needed. It's not only focused on the high impact journals, it's focusing on the niche journals as well, and kind of facilitating the visibility of them, making sure that these are also good quality journals. Till and Francis have done work on the uh, needs of early career researchers based on research with um, ECRs at uh, Loughborough. They've done social media uh, surveys for librarians. It's super useful for us to know what, what your, your publications are looking for and to know the process of publishing, but then also if librarians are involved, we can help the academics on the ground and also make sure that they're informed from the start. And then obviously when people like yourselves come and do talks, we say, Taylor and Francis is here today to show you some things and we're here to support you beyond that point. We don't know everything, but we can kind of point people in the right direction. I find Taylor and Francis author resources a really great place to point my early career researchers to. It's really colourful and useful, it's very user friendly and um, definitely have sent researchers there so that they can see the process and also it has things that I could print out and give to people. Tips and tricks, points back to the resource bank, things that I can then tweet for our researchers. We always like to sign posts to really good resources that already kind of have it already there. And the Taylor and Francis site has things there that I, I would never be able to put together myself. So there's just a great deal of resources there and I think there's something for every eventuality.